I'm trying to be the best boxer there ever was. Ever. Ever. At 13, I told my mom I'd be world champion one day. And she was like, write it down. Everybody builds different. I'm young, but I'm seasoned. You know, um, it, it, there, there's guys that's my age, but they haven't grown as much as I have. You know, I'm, I'm before my time. It's a clock on my back. A lot of people have been blessed with talent, and sometimes they feel they don't have to work as hard as the other people who, who wasn't blessed with the talent that they have. I know I'm blessed with the God-given talent, and every day I go in that gym, I, I, work, I work so hard. What makes Adrian Tick timid? My kids, I mean, you know, uh, they, they have to have the life that, that, that I never had. I love to put on a show. Camp for two and a half months. You gotta eat right, run eight and a half miles, sometimes nine. You can't have this. You can't have cake. You can't be around your girl, no sex. You go to the fight, you like, somebody gotta pay for this. It's gonna be a tough task, but I will make it look easy. Were you feeling out in those first few rounds, or what was your strategy? Listen to me, you seen I came out with French Montana. I ain't worrying about nothing. And let me ask you about winning your third title. You're 23 years of age, three different weight divisions. What does that mean to you at this point in your career? I mean, it's a tremendous accomplishment. 23 and no. 20, no, 23 years old, 27 and no. 22 knockouts. I mean, who's doing it like me in the game? Nobody. And shout out to Worldstar, because we're going to put his ass on Worldstar. Adrian, the volume of punches certainly favored Polly. However, you kept saying the entire fight, we could read your lips and hear you. You can't hit me. Were you at ever any point hit with a shot that concerned you? Negative, man. He couldn't hit me. He couldn't hit me. He was shadow boxing. Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Hey, what was you saying to him while you was uh, hitting him in his face? <laughs> you can't hit me. I hit Jessica and I'm hitting you. He asked the question, shit. It's not if there's a fight for me, it's who's going to fight me. You see what right. just happened? Don't nobody want to fight me. Uh, you can throw me in a jungle butt naked with some boxing gloves and some boxing shoes and I guarantee I come out with a crocodile belt and a mink on. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm walking on clouds, man. Sky's the limit. You know, uh, the clouds are under me. You know, um, I got the world in my hands right now. I, I feel like I took over the game in this era. Like I said on HBO, man, I fight, knocked them out, had some sex, and Monday I was back to kicking ass and hitting bags. I got the whole world of boxing in front of me. All I got to do is grab it, and it'll be mine. So it's all up to me. Every boxer on the other side of that ring is only one punch from the knockout. Do you ever foresee a day where you might lose a fight? I work too hard, man. I, I can't have that.